Every day, Castor Valley Elementary, Middle, and High Schools practice the four R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, and rot. My name is Samantha Siegel. I'm originally from Castro Valley. I now live in New York City and I dance professionally there. Okay, and uh, why don't you talk a little bit about how you got started, when you got started, and where? Cool. So I started dancing when I was six years old at Castro Valley Performing Arts. Uh, I think maybe when I was about four years old, my parents uh, saw me dancing in the living room and I actually had rhythm. I was dancing to the beat of music and so they knew they had to uh, help me uh, in that and so they sent me here when I was six years old and I started learning, you know, like the very basic things when you're six and starting to dance. So, um, like pre-ballet, tap, jazz, things like that. And I was hooked and I started then, I continued on, I learned new dance forms and I, I danced here until the end of high school. Uh, so that was about when I was 18 years old. After high school, I went on to go to UC Berkeley and I studied medicine there and I did uh, dance on the side. It was a, uh, like a student club thing. I did jazz and hip hop just for fun, but I was a hobby. And then I realized that dance wasn't a hobby for me anymore and that it was something I wanted to actually uh, pursue because I knew that dance had a certain timeline to it and I could only dance for so long. My body can only really handle a certain amount for so long, so I knew time to kind of shift my mindset. I could always go back to the books at any point. So I applied to NYU to teach dance and it was sort of a make it or break it thing. So if I got in, then I'd go, and if I didn't, then I would still pursue uh, being a doctor. And I got in, so I started um, at NYU. I transferred there, it's a three-year program, and so I graduated on my sort of four-year time frame, and I studied modern and ballet. And it was there at NYU when I was actually exposed to partner dancing, and I met my now professional partner, Brian T. Lawton there, and he was the NYU Swing Dance Society's president, he was a friend of mine as a, a resident assistant at a freshman hall, and we just started for fun. And then again, what was hobby became passion, and now this is what I professionally pursue, is a life of partner dancing, uh, primarily in swing, but also in other ball, ballroom forms. So today I'm hosting a swing dance workshop for my friends, family, extended family, extended friends of friends, um, just to share what I love to do in my hometown again. Um, I've actually never had the opportunity to share this new uh, dance with anyone from my, my, my hometown yet. It's always existed in New York City for me and the other places that I've, I've traveled to teach, uh, such as London and other uh, places like Maine and other states, but not California. So this is my, my first go at sharing and spreading uh, what I think is a very contagious bug of swing dancing. And uh, so today, yeah, you'll see some friends of mine from high school, their moms, their dads, um, and it's just going to be a fun time to share what I love to do with people that I love. So starting out when I was six years old doing uh, these uh, very entertainment dance forms and coming now to teaching, um, I've taught before, I've taught, um, you know, pre-ballet, tap, um, just jazz classes and I, I've enjoyed that but this feels much more full so circle because I feel like I finally found myself in dance and I'm not just doing someone's choreography or um, I, I'm not just doing what I'm told of sorts as a kid would do you know you're, you're learning and, and you're doing you're making corrections and you're, you're, you're doing what other people see and at this point I'm able to um, define myself in dance and I get to find those I get to critique myself at a, at a much more particular level where I get to um, decide what my style is. What is my style in dance? What do I want to look like? Um, who are my inspirations? And at this point, coming, coming back, I get to share that with people, not as a way to say this is what you have to look like, but here's what I have to offer, and you can take it for whatever you like, and you can make your own style from it. And uh, coming from Casper Lake Performing Arts, I grew such an appreciation for performing uh, and and sharing what I love to do, and full circle now is me just kind of um, preaching that even more just like Janet uh, Taddy here at the studio and my other teachers such as Rob Perry and there are plenty of others uh, that I grew up here that um, compounded that like there's an audience and they mean something and uh, there are other people watching you and that's the whole point of dance is sharing it with other people or else there's really no other reason for it to exist I think my personal opinion on it um, and just taking what they've learned with that I'm able to transfer that into my teaching and my performing now in this whole new form and uh, I'm absolutely in love with what I do.
In partnership with CV Sand, Cast Valley Schools reduced garbage sent to the landfill by 32% in 2012. Way to go.